Oh, now I'll see you in the kitchen, Gracie. Yeah, there you are. Did you get the other stuff? So we can make this dish for our friends and family too when they stop by? Oh! Whew. There you are, friends and family. I didn't hear you when you knocked. And I guess you snuck by Spooky and the Kitty Crew again. Yeah, I'm going to have to talk to Spooky, Cleo, and Speedy about that. Yeah, I'll bet you uh, gave him some treats again so you could sneak by. Of course, Gracie, she's digging through the cabinets in the pantry looking for what else I need for what we're going to be doing tonight. Hey, since you dropped in a little early and we haven't put it all together right now, let me show you a couple of things I'm going to be using in a meal that I've made many, many times in my life. When times were as hard as they could be, and I was broke. Yep, but I wanted something healthy. Well, as healthy as it could be. And this here uh, dish I'm going to be pairing tonight goes all the way back to my great-grandma. First time I ever ate it. And it came from her from the Great Depression times. You know, great-grandmother, she was 45 years old when the Great Depression started. And she had a family of four with my grandpa, great-grandfather, Jack. She worked in those, one of those Woolworths, you know, the five and dime. And my grandfather, Jack, worked in the paper mill. In Johnsonburg, PA, they did. Now, granted, the Woolworths and the grocery my grandmother shopped at, and I went with her too when I was just a lad, has burnt down. Now there's just a vacant lot where it once was. But the paper mill, still hanging on. I hope it never closes, because Johnsonburg will dry up and blow away. Because that's all they got, and they still only got one grocery store. Imagine that. Times are tough, I'm sure, up there, as they're tough everywhere now. And uh, like I've told you before, instead of holding on all the food I put back, which I've been putting food back pretty much all my life, and it's come in real handy when times have got the hardest. And as we all know, they're pretty hard now. And this is one of those videos well, you get to participate a little beforehand and let me know what you would do if you had these. We've done them before. And I always enjoy them. Of course, I won't be able to see what you're typing away after you watch this intro video because I'll be in here making up mine. And then when I get it all done, I'll be able to sit down with my fine meal from what I'm going to show you now and read all the comments what you do and what you would make if this is what you had of course I mean you can make additions and add to but keep in mind this is poor poke food struggle food what you did or what you're doing now in the hardest of times so let me show you what I got. It ain't all that's going in my dish tonight, but it's the start. Because Gracie, she's still wandering around looking for the other stuff. <laughs> hey, let me show you what we got, and we'll talk a little bit about it. So like I said, you know, I'm eating out of my stocks. That I've always put back and I ramped up during 2020 because I didn't know how it would go and our protein tonight which is a healthy one in many ways but now unlike the 30s and 40s 50s and 60s it has become not as healthy as it once was but it is packed in B vitamins nutrients yeah and it's also got those omega-3s. And I know for a fact the ladies in my family, whether it's my great-grand, my grandma, or my mother too, 
made sure we ate fish at least once a week. So what's my protein going to be tonight? Well, it's going to be chunk light tuna. And water it is. Yeah, and I know. It ain't as cheap now as once it was. I mean, right now, the cheapest tuna I could find was for 88 cents, the great value brand, at Walmart. Not if you bought single cans, because they were 96. You had to buy the four-pack. Yes, you do. And yeah, you got to be careful how much tuna you consume now and what type you consume. And if you'd like to know all about that, I can do a video on it because I checked into it. Now I know. But if you want the least amount of mercury to consume, the chunk light tuna. Don't matter what brand because it's primarily all one species. One of the smallest tuners out there. The skipjack. But right now, if you do the math, at 88 cents, this will become up, I think, about three, oh, three something a pound. Yeah, I know. You could get chicken, drumsticks, thighs, bone in, or get you some of those 59 cent a pound chicken leg quarters and that'd be cheaper too but we're talking fish with all of its benefits that we all know about so that's my protein tonight and Gracie finally dug out and she's looking for the other things too a can of Libby's sweet peas oh these have got eye too yes they have so that's two of my ingredients that we'll be using among others too to put together my supper while you are watching this video maybe you're cooking too or sharing your thoughts your suggestions and exactly what you do and I do these videos from time to time about what would you do you know and I always love the comments. I learn so much. And I pick up some ideas too. And that's the greatest thing about this channel. Is how many people take the time as they watch or watch the video to comment. I'm going to tell you what. One of the most watched videos in quite some time was the one I did of what I do to survive these trying times. You know, that thing got 14,000 views. And better yet, it got 660 plus comments. All of you saying what you're doing and what we could do to survive, to make our lives better. And now, as other people come by and watch the video with all the comments in there, one of the things they say is they enjoyed the video but more than that, they enjoyed reading all the comments and all the suggestions too. So that's why I like to do these. And hey, I'm not going to cheat and look to see what you're doing. That's why I'm recording it now before I get to cooking. Yes, I am. And I'll put it up and you'll be watching and typing away. Well, I'm preparing my meal tonight. If Gracie will find other ingredients. <laughs> Who knows? I'm sure she will. So, hey. Think about it. You don't got to use sweet peas. But, try to keep it. Where the protein is stark. It's, well, it don't got to be stark. It could be chicken under sea or great value too. Or, you know, any tuna you prefer. If you don't like chunk light, skip jack. Hey, and you're a fan of albacore or yellow fin as well? It's okay. It costs way more. But if that's you, it's okay. So, y'all, get typing away. And let us all know. Let me know, because I'll be reading away while I'm enjoying my meal tonight. Yes, I will. It'll give me something to do. 
why I'm enjoying my meal and resting up. And I'm sure there'll be so many interesting things that you can do with a can of tuna too. I know I've, in the hardest times, I've used tuna. You know, I can remember back in the 80s when it was 25 cents a can. Yep. And they'd have sales every once in a while. Five cans for a dollar. Do you remember those? Don't we wish they'd all come back? But it's still, and especially if you're talking fish, one of the cheapest fishes out there. So, until I, Gracie, which I think is decided it's food time for her, and the kitty crew, you know them all, Cleo, Spooky, Speedy, sometimes Eclipse, and we can catch them on film, and the very elusive, fluff him up in two. See y'all in that next video. Take care, stay safe. Live the best you can, and may God bless you all. Goodbye for now. Gracie, you gonna say hi to your viewers and fans? No. Why are you being that way? Oh, you're still striking? For more treats? Yeah, I know. You sitting beside your treat plate. But you've already had your afternoon treats. Do you think you need more? Huh? You're not going to even contribute, are you? Well, I still love you. <laughs> Later, all.